Sorry, Queen A1? Was that a suggestion? Defense. Yeah, defence. Queen A1. Another normal move. <laughs> it's been a day of normal moves. It's been a very normal moves. Yeah, Queen A1. And then with the idea, well, at least you stop Rookie 8. Or do you stop Rookie 8? Yeah. Okay, so let's say I just play H4. I play H4, defend my back rank, and now your queen is still on pre. Well, on pre. And rook e8 is still an idea. Uh, a rook to e1. I have rook to e1. If you take on f1, queen takes, rook to a1, I go rook to e1, which is uh, winning for white. So we can't allow that. So after h4, well, maybe, maybe this is going to be a win for white. What a result that would be. That would be absolutely amazing result. A chance to win the tournament. You've just been in Pogar. Um, probably black's going to win now, and I'm going to be have to change my change my idea yet again. But so queen e2, but black has to defend against rook e8 with queen e6 coming. Sorry. Uh, queen e6 check. For example, let's say you play h6. Well, maybe h6 is a good move because it gives you king and square. I'm going to go. I'm not going to go rook e8 here. H6, very natural move. We're forgetting about these moves now. Uh, can I go rook h6 and queen e6? Probably not. Um, wow, h6. Is there a problem with h6? Okay, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> h6. A white needs a big move here. Needs to play a big move. These pieces, remember, are out of play, so if white's going to do something, it has to be around here. h6 is on the board. h6 has been played. Okay. So I was right all along, black was fine. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to worry about. All under control. Let's wait for checkmate in four from white now. Okay, so h6 and... Well, I, I don't think this is going to work. We can take this and if queen e6, I'd probably go king g... not king g7 I play. Um, and I don't see a good check here. Maybe... <laughs> queen here? <laughs> oh dear, the game goes on. The king comes out. Queen h7 check. The king comes out. h4. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh dear, probably be a perpetual check. I've given up giving a result for this game because it's just too hard. Well, we have two more moves in the Yusupov Shirov game. Right, let's go straight back into the action. Yusupov Shirov. Another very interesting game. Queen to a3. And Shirov, it looks like he's been playing for a win. Yusupov is down to a minute now, but Shirov, five minutes left. And they still have something like 14 moves to make. So Queen to a3, King to d7. Okay, so another pawn is go could be attacked, but Rook d1, King c8. He's castled the other way. He's gone the other way. Shirov has castled twice in this game. I'm sure that's not allowed. He's done it on the king's side and he's done it on the queen's side. Um, uh, okay, well, the obvious question is, well, I think, what about this played. one? He's played that. King takes. Uh, one, one move at a time, please. If, if you go, yeah, I know, I know, I've seen that. If bishop takes, we just go king takes, rook takes it, and then queen a8 check wins the queen over here. So this is why you can't go bishop takes g2. So instead, Shirov has played c6. So. Yusparov, Yusparov, I'm so, I, my words are all coming out funny now. You've been so, doing well, you've been doing well I was doing well great today. earlier, but now, yeah. uh, and now after c6, okay, four pawns for the piece, four whole pawns for the piece, but is the black king now safe? Well, we can start checking it around to the other side of the ball, can we? <laughs> Check, oh, the king goes to b8, this is the idea. Comes back to b8, and the king is reasonably safe on b8. So, an amazing position. Well, okay, this is the position on the board. C6 has been played. Rook B4 looks very natural. Very natural, actually, doesn't it? Rook B4, I like the look of that, yes. Nice idea. Oh, it, okay, well, that wasn't played. It wasn't played. Why, was, why wasn't that played? Rook C7 might defend. Let's just keep up the action because they've only, they're both short on time. I think we should stick with what they're playing here. Queen, uh, no, Queen A8 was played, um, and 
oh, this has actually happened. Oh, Rook A4 at the end. I see. I see. So we d the, the game went, check, king here, check, and Shirov still playing for the win. His king's gone all the way around the board to play for the win. Will it have to come back again after Rook A4? <laughs> it's a... Uh, Oh, bishop e5. Okay, played very quickly. Keeping white under time pressure. One minute, f 11 left. Okay, well, I want to go back to the other board because, okay, we have to go back to Yifeng versus, um, okay, this is very fascinating, this one. Because what's actually happened, okay, this is the board, I believe board three, is that right? And it's uh, Yifeng Hu versus Liam Li Kuang. And um, we've actually had h6, rook takes h6. So another very sensible position. And it's gone straight down analysis, takes, check, king g7, queen d7, check. And, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so they're coming thick and fast in this round. All credit to the players. Some great games going on. And this is brilliant to see. In the last couple of rounds, the players playing this kind of chess. And after queen d7, okay, Lee is now thinking about what to play. Um, so Yosipov is down to 14 seconds, it seems. We still haven't had a move there. Still haven't had a move on that board. Uh, just to recap on the other games, which we'll come back to when the excitement on these two boards has died down, probably won't die down for a while, is that Mickey Adams is doing pushing for the win against Mama Jarov. And a quick update on Nigel's game. Nigel's game is heading towards the draw, but we'll have a look at that after the time pressure's over. King G6 here by Lee. King G6, okay. And According to me, Yusupov has, well, according to the computer, Yusupov has lost on time, but uh, I, I doubt that. Don't, don't believe that. Don't believe the clocks. Okay, so King G6 has been played. The king is bravely walking up the board. And obviously Lee is, has calculated extremely well in past games. Has he calculated this well? Should we try to work it out? Oh, I said black was always winning. <laughs> uh, okay, so we, I think we should go for Queen H7. This looks, this looks critical. And then, well, let's stick with king takes, then h4. Is the king walking into a mating net, or is the king escaping? Well, king g4 leads to checkmate after check, here, rook f4, checkmate. So it's clear you cannot move your king to g4. King takes here leads to mate. So after takes, here, um, here, king here, queen h4, mate. So. It looks like the only option after Queen H7, this could be another, there's so many contenders this round for best game price. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a fiery round. Um, so after Queen H7, well, can you go here? Ah, King H5. Aha. Uh -huh. Because now White doesn't have many checks left. And Ho Yi found it under a minute now. Not, not a lot of time to work this out. Oh, she's played Knight E6. Okay, maybe that's the reason why, because um, this could have been very strong, so Queen G6, Knight to E6 has been played. And um, very difficult to play, All, you know, these positions that Yusupov has, and um, also in this game, with shortened time, it's, you know, impossible to play these correctly. Now Lee still has nine minutes, so let's pop back over to the Yusupov game real quick. We've had a couple more moves okay, there. Okay, we have another move here. So we have bishop e5, h3, intriguing, king c8, rook to e1. And, um, wow. Okay, white has four pawns for the piece and still a bit of an attack here. Not as big attack as it looks it should, should have been. Um, because this bishop does a very good job of defending the king, maybe on b8. Um, these bishops are very strong now. And the four pawns are not so... maybe not, not so strong anymore. Can he play rook takes bishop? Can he play rook takes bishop? That is, that is a, a sheer off move. Can he play this move? And now, if pawn takes rook, we go queen to f2. Is this playable? Is it playable? With mate as a threat. Uh, well, rook g4 looks forced to me. Is rook takes g6 possible from Shiro? Have to defend against mates here. Check here or just go bishop to b8. So, rook g4. Okay, trying to defend everything. And maybe it does defend everything. 
or Bishop F3. Rook H8. Oh yes. Oh. Oh. Does it work? <laughs> well, the idea of rook h8 suggested by Daniel Bisbee is um, to play rook takes h3 and queen h2. But more chaos on the board. Let's go rook takes e5 and prove the mate. Okay, I Oh, rook takes h3. Well, this is mating two. So, see, I'm always trying to make things more confusing than they are. Okay, just rook takes h3 is just mate. Okay, I was looking at queen f1. Uh, so, rook h8. So is rook takes g6 a possibility? Are there any more moves? Let's have a look. Shearoff is obviously thinking about rook takes g6 here. He's got to be. And um, use a pop down to 48 seconds, and I wow. noticed after he played h3, his clock was reading 31 seconds. Wow. So since they get 30 seconds per move, that means his clock had ticked down to one second. Wow. <laughs> I think Shiro's going to win this game. I think he's going to. I think he's going to get there. This is the kind of position he thrives in as well. Um, and now he's starting to gain the initiative. And uh, well, this is uh, when you're gaining the initiative. Very dangerous. Well, hang on a minute. If this is winning, then let's play it. Well, I'm not so sure because the queen is covering d2 square. Uh, someone suggested bishop takes pawn first, but let, if rook takes g6 is winning, okay, let's try to refute rook takes g6 first. Um, well, I think you have to take on g6. That is forced. And then I don't see any other moves except taking this because uh, otherwise. And then queen to f2, threatening mate. Okay, he hasn't played that. He hasn't played that, so maybe there's some up. Let's keep up with the action, though. Uh, instead, he's gone. Okay, you're right. You're always right. Rook <laughs> Bishop takes G2. Wow. Okay, I don't know. Maybe Rook takes G6 is possible. Uh, obviously dangerous, but Bishop takes G2, King takes, and now just Queen takes F5. Okay. I think, that, yeah, I mean, this, this is. Yusupov has played. Yusupov has played an um, uh, extremely exciting game. He's got to be given full credit, but um, you know it takes two sides to make a game like this, and Yusupov has been one of the sides. Um, he's. Um, it, oh, I know. I'm losing the plot now. <laughs> a break is coming up very soon. So, um, but after Queen takes f5, um, I think Shirov will go on to win this game now. And well, you've got to admire his spirit because instead of playing the, you know, this perpetual, he's moved his king all the way around to the other side of the board. And um, well, um, I don't see how White can survive here. Um, it's it looks like it should be over now. And also, well, okay, it says time. Maybe it is time now. Maybe he has lost some time in this position. So um, maybe we'll get Shear off down to look at this game because I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure it's one no. of those games he'd like to show us. Rook, rook to g4 has been played with uh, now Yusupov okay. on 55 seconds. Rook takes g4, so... Okay. Remember, you, you don't get the clock times, you get an estimation of the clock time. So uh -huh. we only really know the, move, the uh, right. actual clock times after a move has been played, and then the clocks are updated. Right, okay. So if I just take on g6 here, what is going on? Let's have a look. Rook takes g6, oh, it has been played, and now queen to b4. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's a piece, isn't it? Unfortunately, black, you know, well, I say unfortunately, it's been a great game, really good game. Um, I, I'd go for game of the round, even though, I mean, we've still got this fascinating counter going on between uh, um, the ladies' world champion Lee from Vietnam, um, which we'll come back to. We haven't had any more moves there. Uh, okay, rook d4 has been played, and I think. I think, uh, yeah, this is uh, wrapping up this game, isn't it? So, well, it'd be, it'd be great to see Shearoff come down. I mean, if you stay tuned, it's, it's likely he could join us here um, in the comments room. Um, we probably won't follow some of the lines he'll demonstrate, but we can, uh, <laughs> we can, it'll be great to have his analysis. Um, so, four more moves to play in the Hu Yifan Li game. Okay, and, so that, that's now the Vietnamese Grandmaster is down under four minutes. And, uh, okay, that game, um, okay, Yusupov has uh, resigned there. So, um, uh, brave play from both players, went all in for the win, and um, commendable. Um, we do have a £1,000 best game prize, so... Uh, <laughs> That's Brian, certainly Brian a contender. Callahan. Certainly a contender, yeah. In the room here, um, maybe, uh, it's, uh, 
do well, they share, do they share that or? I, I, I think it goes to the winner. I'm not sure though. Yeah, um, it's decided by the winner. Okay. Situation. Okay. Right, so we still have a game between, let's have a look, see, because they're going to have to start moving very soon. So this is Yi Fang versus uh, Li, Li. And um, okay, uh, Knight to E6 was the last position. The interesting thing about this game is that Black has, well, it looks, according to the, the clock times I'm getting here, spent eight minutes or so on this position, um, which could be an indication that White's attack is. <laughs> Getting dangerous. Black's not sure how to continue. Okay, well I could probably always take. Well, I could take your rook on. I could take on f8 and take on uh, a4. Then uh, we'll wait until the moves come in there. Adams Mamajar off the board one encounter. Is Adams making much progress? Well, the last position we had was after king to e5, and this is move 40. So they've made the time control. As we um, saw earlier on, black probably has to get the bishop to this long diagonal in order to control the a8 square. So after king to e5, black did play bishop to g4. a7, bishop to f3, <coughs> rook to c7. And, well, <laughs> Mickey may be here for a while again. So uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit well similar to yesterday. Um, this pawn, can he make this pawn a queen? That will be his plan, certainly. Um, also, this pawn... Well, that, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. We saw Mickey uh, checkmate David Howe after um, a, a 105 moves, I think, he got this mating attack. And uh, this was when Black had a, a similar pawn structure. Well, his king was weak. David Howe's king was weak. And the problem that black has here is that at some point, because the pawns are on light squares around the king, Mickey may be able to attack on the dark squares with his dark squared bishop. So as well as having the combined idea of queening the pawn, there's also some mating ideas as well. I want to cut you off because we've had several moves in the Who You Find Lay game. Okay. Which is just about to reach move 40. Okay, so let's catch up with that. So knight to e6, bishop c5, defending the rook. Wow, queen g7. What a game. King h5. Knight takes f8. And Why not? White is winning. Probably. Bishop takes knight is played. No, bishop takes knight. <laughs> well, one more move to time control. One more move and yeah, it looks it looks like white should win this. With with okay, rook takes pawn. Hasn't been played yet, has not been played, but if this happened then the king has to go here, then queen to s6 check, king to g4, queen to g6 mate, please don't call out because I can't go with all your moves, king here and then rook h5 check mate. But she's like played queen to g6. Was that not false mate? I'm sorry, queen, queen to f7. Did I, was that not false mate there? That looked like false mate to me. Okay, there might well be another one. So we'll get up to but okay, I think rook f5 was gonna lead to checkmate. Queen to f7 check is probably gonna be a win as well. Well, what a result. If White wins this game, what a result. She's beaten El Massey, Judith Polgar, and now another 2700 player. Lee, unbelievable play. Unbelievable. She must be having one of the highest performances in, in the whole Sanchez. tournament. Well, what a game. What a game. What can we say about that game? Unbelievable. One of the most exciting games we've had. Very hard to know what's going on. Uh, and brilliant game. So we can have to admire Yi Fang Ho's chess here. It's been brilliant. And that's one of the games of the tournament. Brilliant win. Chasing the king around the boards. Great attacking chess. Let's have a look at them there. Very good game. She's on fire. She's on fire. Can anyone stop her? Uh, well, very good play.